Epilepsy is the Greek word for seizure disorder. Seizures have been recognized as a medical condition for centuries, but they're not one size fits all. In fact, they can present in extremely different forms. The one that most people know about are generalized tonic-clonic seizures or grand mal seizures. And what that is, is a full body convulsion. In a tonic-clonic seizure, the patient generally loses consciousness and collapses. It's characterized by stiffening of the body, which is the tonic phase. About a minute later, it's followed by violent jerking, which is the clonic phase. It's a stark contrast to the absent seizure. Absent seizures affect mostly children and last just a few seconds. There's a brief loss of consciousness, which may go unnoticed. People who suffer these seizures may look like they've zoned out. They can have a moment in time where it appears that somebody's not paying attention, but what's happening is that they have uh, a seizure going on in their head. Man, many times this can happen um, multiple times a day, sometimes hundreds of times in a day. The next most common seizure is the myoclonic, characterized by sporadic jerks on both sides of the body, followed by a tonic, which is when the patient has a sudden loss of muscle function. Seizures can originate for any number of reasons. Sometimes it can be a genetic predisposition towards having seizure disorders. Sometimes it can be a symptom, either a symptom of, of cerebral palsy or a prior brain injury or other uh, genetic disorders. There are some things that can make a seizure more likely to come out. Sleep deprivation is a very big one. A doctor with experience in seizure disorders is best suited to make a diagnosis. There are medications and even surgery that's helpful in controlling or eliminating these unexpected seizures. For Lee Memorial Health System, I'm Amy Osher.